We're taking a look at the, another look at the performance data recorder. And the reason we're doing that is because I want to show you how you can time anything with the data recorder. For instance, if you had a favorite off-ramp or on-ramp um, and you wanted to uh, see how fast or how quick you are going through that particular segment, um, you can do that. And then you can go and it'll remember, it will remember what um, the starting and the finish section were, however long, you could have two or three miles long if you want. Um, or it could be just a few hundred yards. And, and you could get a start line and a finish line and it would time it every time as long as you have the data recorder going, it would time it every time you went through that section from start to finish. Think of how much fun you could have with that. I mean, of course, if you're down in Mexico, where it's probably legal to do that. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, go, you, you can do that, and it's really amazing. Or if you go to a track day, uh, obviously, and most guys know this at track day cars anyway, um, you can set the start and finish and uh, it'll time your laps and you go in and look at your laps and see every lap time you had and see whether you improved or not and there's a lot of data that shows up on the screen you can, there's three or four different modes of data you could put up there you can do all kinds of things so I, it just there's a myriad of stuff you can see where your throttle is how much brakes you're using i mean it just goes on and on and on so today we're going to show you how to do that 2lt 3lt corvette C8 comes with the performance data recorder. 1LT does not. But I think if you buy a 1LT, you can get the data recorder if you can order it, you know, as an option. But it's, it's, it comes standard in the 2LT and the 3LT, so just so you know that. Um, owner's manual says something really funny. It says, don't rely on the camera footage to drive your car. I know why they have to put this in there as the legal craps, and I is. Oh, well, I was watching my PDR and I was driving the car and I smashed into a building, you know, that's not going to work. Um, the data is stored in an SD card and SD means secure digital. I never knew that. I had to look it up. SD, what the heck is SD? Secure digital. Oh, okay. Um, there's all different types, size cards. Get the fastest card you can get. Um, you really want to do that. It should be in what they call an XFAT formatted uh, SD card, EX, small EX, capital FAT, um, SD card, class 10 or above. I would get 16, 32, 64. I get 64 or 128 megabytes. Also, it's very simple. I have a video I did a while back. You can turn this data recorder into a dash cam and it would record every time you get in the car. And then after, after, you got, after you've got uh, several hundred minutes of uh, video, uh, you can have it so it'll just record back over the old video. And if you go look at my video, I'll put a link to the video down below. Uh, I'll show you how to do that and set it all up for that. So, so that'll work really, really nice. So let's figure uh, you, that you've got your SD card all installed. And by the way, when you install the SD card into your glove box, um, it's on the left-hand side, there's a slot. And the little shiny metal contact should be facing the steering wheel to the, dri the driver's side. So we're gonna show you all of this right now. So it's no sense me talking anymore anyway, so. If you have any questions, put them down below. If you like, uh, if you like the video, give it a like. Uh, I'd love to have you make a comment. Um, and we're always looking for subscribers, so uh, don't. It doesn't cost you anything to click that the subscribe button. So anyway, let's get to let's go to the videotapes. We're going to start off by showing you how we set up the whole thing. I'm getting ready to set up the PDR for an autocross. And what I mean by an autocross is I'm going to set it up where the start and the finish line, the start line and the finish line are different. And um, in this particular case, they are going to be different. 
Otherwise, if you were on a regular track where the start line and the finish line were both at the same spot, then you could use the other recording, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. But first of all, recordings, I don't have any. I cleared everything out of there. Settings, um, automatic recording I have to off. And then uh, if you go down here a little further, SD card information, uh, everything's okay. I haven't checked the card speed yet, but if the format's okay, we're going to be just fine. So now let's go back to PDR, and we want to go to Video Overlay, and I'm going to pick Track, and I'll tell you why, because if you look at the uh, track here, um, it's really uh, nice. When I take my foot off the brake, you see what happens. <laughs> you can see the little red marks up there, right up here, and that's uh, throttle. Uh, this is steering. I'm turned to the left a little bit, so you see it's 95 degree. And then uh, this is for G-Force over here, G-Meter. RPMs, showing you your RPMs from 1 to what, 0 to uh, almost 7,000 RPMs. Um, so the next thing we have to do, let's go back. That's, so that's, that's, what, that's the, the overlay screen that's going to be on the video. So that's nice. But right over here where my thumb is, uh, right over here where my thumb is, that's going to show you the time. Well, the time is a little tricky, and I'll, I'll see if I can explain it to you in just a minute. But what we want to do now, we've got all this ready, and track mode, I think, is going to work the best for you guys on the track. The next thing we have to do is go to lap timing. And so I click on lap timing, and uh, that's my old little uh, track and I want to that I practice with it. but I want to relearn this and the way I relearn it is I drive and if I were doing uh, with a start and a finish with the same I would hit, hit circuit but we're going to pretend this is an autocross where the starting line and the finish line are at two different places so you can have one with a start and finisher at the same place or a start and finisher at different places and autocrossing is most people are going to probably do an autocross before they do a track time. I would suggest that too, <laughs> to do the, do the autocross first. But anyway, we have to we have to set a start and a finish. So what I have to do is I'm going to go up and pick a starting line up here, and I see a house up here that has some pumpkins in it and stuff. Maybe I'll pick. See that house up here with the American flag on the right hand side I think I'll go up here and uh, pick that as a starting spot I don't know if you can still see that but there's a uh, American flag right there and I'm gonna stop right here and I'm gonna make this my starting spot so I'm right here so let me go just by the pumpkins right here that's so cute start right here at the pump is gonna make this my starting place so I'm gonna hit start and then I have to drive to the finish so now I'm going to continue on and I'm going to drive to the finish and there I will hit the finish button so far pretty good huh doesn't look too bad so guy wants to pull up in front of me <laughs> And I've got a finish line I like to pick out right down here. And let's go uh, right about here, I think. And, oh, see the fire hydrant up here? I'm going to make the fire hydrant my finish line. So this will be the finish line right here. This is perfect. So I'm going to go right just as I, my nose touches the fire hydrant here. That's going to be, I'm going to mark my finish line right here by hitting the finish. Now it says done. He says lap time will begin automatically the next time you pass the start line while the PDR is recording. So the lap times will begin automatically if I'm in record mode. So I'm going to hit done. So now I'll hit OK. And... Before I get to the start line, I'm going to hit the record button to start the recording. The starting line, I don't want to 
when I get here before it. Okay, now it's recording. So now it should start timing when I go across this line, which is where those pumpkins are and everything. It should start recording. Okay? So now, leave the recorder on. It's still recording. So let's play on some autocross course here, and I'm going back. Sarin logs. <laughs> we'll go back to our little starting spot down here. Okay. Go back over here. And if I remember correctly, right up here is the fire hydrant. And when I go by that fire hydrant, I can shut off the recorder. So let me go by the fire hydrant. And that's going to finish my lap right here. And then I'm going to park across the street from my buddy's house. I'll stop the recording. I think that's pretty slick. You can time really any section of highway or any section of a road course or any or an autocross or a track, you can use the timer nicely. There's one little booger in there that I noticed today. If you set the start line where the start is, where you're going to start the car, you could pull into the starting box and set the timer off. So what I would do is I would move that timing box forward maybe a couple of car lengths and make your start up there so that when you when you pull into the timing box you're here so that when the car starts moving it'll be you know it's going to get down here a ways before it sets off um, the GPS and it thinks you know the time is not going to start while you're sitting in there and sometimes in in autocrosses you can be several seconds in there before um, they let you go so you want to be uh, careful about that and I would think that's that's a little a slight workaround for that track time start and finish at the same place that that's easy but this one is a little more tricky but like I say you can use this on an off ramp or an off ramp or an on ramp or a section of highway that you're you know interested in seeing how well you do on that section of highway so it's kind of interesting and thanks for watching I appreciate all you folks that Give me likes and comments and stuff like that, especially the good ones. <laughs> we get a foul ball every once in a while, but what the heck, that's to be expected. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we will see you again.